Good morning, we are headed towards breakfast. I think we're gonna go down and check out the Chanty Garden. <laughs> I just said I don't know what we're gonna go eat, but I need my coffee. We're gonna go see what they have on the menu at Chanty Garden. And if not, we'll go up to Cabana's Buffet. We're in Chanda Garden for breakfast. This is a breakfast buffet in the morning. Both sides of the buffet are exactly the same, so you can go on the left or the right, and in the middle is where you get your fruit. Um, this is one of the only times you get to sit in the teacups if you don't have this as your seating rotation, as it only seats four, and it's only 10 of them that they have here. So they'll come early. They'll so come early and you can request it. So we're set up two and we're able to use it this morning. So let's eat breakfast. I got oatmeal, a ham and cheese croissant, some blueberry pancakes and a donut. And we're gonna drink some coffee. Also got some fruit. On all four Disney Cruise Line ships, they do have a thermal suite, and this room is called the Rainforest Room. The Rainforest Room on Disney Dream and the Fantasy have three saunas. This particular sauna is actually not very humid, but is very dry, hot heat. And the best part is the view out the window. The second sauna here is one of two more humid saunas. You can see, unlike the other sauna, this one has stone seats to sit in. There's also these basins. What these basins are for is so if you use one of the scrubs, you can actually wash off when you're finished. I unfortunately don't have any video of the third sauna, but it's even more humid than this. One of the more popular amenities of the rainforest room are these showers. You have different types of water heads that give you a different experience in each one. A second favorite location of most cruisers are these stone loungers. They are heated to be nice and warm on your back. And then you also have these two private hot tubs for those who are using the rainforest room. So this is our almost afternoon update. This morning we went to Enchanted Garden for breakfast and I thought it was decent. Uh, it is a buffet, it's a way to get people out of cabanas and in another location. Um, they do have two lines, they both are the same. We got to sit in one of the round teacup seats, which is which was fun because if you're not assigned to those seats during your dining rotation at dinner, you really can't sit there. So if you show up early like we did, we were able to request it and able to sit there. So that was neat. And then we went to the spa and enjoyed our time there this morning. Uh, we're not gonna go this evening because tonight is the Beauty and the Beauty Beast show the at the Walt Disney Theater. So we're gonna go see that instead of going to the spa today. So we went to the small spa this morning. Uh, one thing that we didn't really like about it was is that today, I don't know if it's something that they do all the time, but they were doing their drills. So while you're trying to sit out in the loungers, you are hearing the alarms going off and it really startles you. So you're trying to relax, but you can't. Also, the other ships that are next to us, theirs are going off as well. So I don't know if it's that time of the month or what's going on that all the ships are doing their 
tests because I don't remember them doing all this to Nassau the last time we were here on the last couple cruises. So take some earplugs. So it might be something that you look into. If you're going to do a spa treatment, you might want to ask them, are they going to be doing tests while you are in port? That way you aren't startled because I would not want to pay the price for a massage and then be startled by the alarms going off. So just something to note. Um, again, don't know if that's something. Other that than that, it was great. The showers are there. The sauna, amazing. Yep, the saunas are great. The loungers are very warm and, and cozy. So this afternoon, we're going to do a lot of crafts, I believe. We have that pinned down on our app. So we will show some of us doing activities. We have 3D origami, uh, pen making, and I'm not sure what else. Button making. Yeah, the buttons. Yeah. So we'll show some, <laughs> some of that. Some trivia. We're going to do some trivia. Yep, hopefully we can do the Disney trivia later. And then we have dinner tonight in Animator's Palette. So we are going to continue with our day here and go do some crafts. and Go get some lunch. Go get some lunch <laughs> here soon. Not sure what we're going to do with that. And we'll just continue on. So see you later. I decided to start with a side salad today at Cabanas. It has some... Uh, romaine lettuce, some carrots, some chickpeas, some beets, they're my favorite, and some uh, dill cucumbers. Let's see how good it is. For my lunch, I'm trying some beef ravioli, some grilled pork, some steak fries, a piece of margarita pizza, and macaroni and cheese. For dessert, I'm having a key lime icebox cake. It has a cute little Mickey decoration right there. And some vanilla ice cream with some chocolate and caramel sauce. So for dessert, I got some strawberry ice cream and this vanilla layer cake. I can't remember what the name was. It looks but like a Napoleon. Yeah, but that's not what it was called. But we'll see if they're good. This particular session of origami was actually for adults only, 18 and older. You will find this on the navigator under the adults 18 plus section. And you will find many activities that would be for families, specifically for adults. The reason why they do this is so that adults that aren't cruising with children have the ability to do crafts and family activities without children present. So here's my final products. I got the dog, the elephant, the lotus flower, and the fish. That was very fun. And here are Vanessa's. So we both did very well. This was a really fun activity.
so James from room service just brought us our room service order. We got a few things to try. Let's see what we got here. So this is my hot dog with french fries. It looks like eating some ketchup and mustard. And the next one, we have the baked mac and cheese. Ooh, oh my goodness. Good. That is nice. All right. And this one, oh, this is your all hands on deck cheese and crackers. And the bottom one should be the key lime pie. Yum. Yummy. Let's eat. So for dinner night, we are in Animator's Palette. A couple things that we noticed here is that they changed the table number. Their, ba their bread basket's still the same. So we're gonna eat at Animator's Palette. And talk to Crush when he comes around. To start, we got the black truffle pasta presets. This is our most favorite item on the menu. For my salad course, I got the chicken and walnut salad. Vanessa got the arugula salad with beets and oranges. For my entree, I got the grilled tuna steak. And Vanessa got the lemon thyme marinated chicken breast. And for dessert, I had the apple crumble rice pudding. And Vanessa had the lemon ice box cake. So here's tonight's towel animal. Mr. Stingray. It is Mr. Ray. Mm-hmm. So on this trip, we really wanted to do something special and we tried our best to do it before we got on the cruise, but it wasn't possible. So when we got on the ship, we made a request and our request was eventually granted. And when we just walked into our room, we were presented this here. This is sitting on our desk. So Vanessa and I will be getting a Serenity Bay Cabana when we go to Castaway Key. And when we came in, they had this paper model sitting here for us with our paperwork information. And in this little envelope sealed with this gold label is our information about which cabin we have, which we aren't sure yet. We'll have to see when we open this and our wristbands. So the wristbands inside the envelope is what we use to access our cabana. So in the morning, we'll take the tram from the ship to Pelican Plunge, and then we'll take the other tram to Serenity Bay. Once we get there, we will meet a cabana host or hostess, and they will then take us over to our cabana. These wristbands also allow us to do rentals of tubes and the rafts. And what we were wondering was, can we get a bike? And it does. So. If you have a cabana, you're also able to get a bike rental as well. So let's open up the envelope and see which cabana number we got. All right, so I went ahead and opened the envelope and here is our wristbands. It's also a letter in there telling us what is included with our cabana. So we have a private beach retreat, which with being on Serenity Bay, we kind of don't have a private beach. We do share it with the rest of the guests, the adult guests. Um, but if you have a family one, you do get this family beach with just cabanas. Uh, we also get um, our own seats, we also get a hammock, fresh showers, unlimited bottled water, unlimited soda, fresh fruit. They also provide um, suntan lotion. Um, if you're on the family beach, you get the snorkeling equipment. Like I said, you get float and tube rentals. Uh, we get a one hour bike rental and a selection of magazines. Not sure what those are, but we'll see. And also snacks. So here's the two maps. So cabanas 22 to 25 are located on Serenity Bay and one through 21 are located on the family beach over by Pelican Plunge. The other piece of paper that was provided was just a map of Castaway Key. So I guess it's still a surprise. We don't know which cabana we're gonna have. Uh, they said we can check the app and see what one we have. I'll do that here in a second and see if it shows up. If not, I guess it'll be a surprise. Uh, we're not too worried about which one we get. We'll take whichever one uh, they provide because we asked for it when we got off the sh when we got onto the ship. So we'll enjoy it either way. So let me check the app and we'll see if I know what number we got. Okay, so I just checked the app and it too does not tell us which cabana we got. So I guess tomorrow we will find out what we get. Um, we did get an announcement today that we may or may not dock at Castaway Key, um, but we're not too, 
too uh, worried about it because they said if we do not make it tomorrow that we will be able to go the next day. So if we don't get to dock tomorrow, we'll have a sea day tomorrow. And then on Thursday, we will, instead of our sea day, we'll be at Castaway Key. So either way, we will be able to enjoy this cabana that we were able to obtain and we are very excited to do it. So let's uh, continue with the evening. We are about to go see the Beauty and the Beast show. This is the one show we were looking forward to seeing on the Disney Dream. Um, that starts here in a few minutes, so we're just going to get ourselves together and we'll go see the show. Let's continue with our evening now after dinner and uh, see what we can do. has hold his time true as it can be barely even friends then somebody bends unexpectedly Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed to our channel yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button below. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below.